Headman from Essex. There's uh, Big Bob Taylor, the bear they call him, six foot four and 17 stone. It's easy to see why the timber contractor who has enjoyed a lot of success in the game, particularly as you can see in his native Scotland. And his opponent, Al Hedman, six years older from uh, Essex, and he's the brother of the women's world number one, Dita Hedman, the British Open champion in 1994. We're going to join it right at the start of the match. Those matches, in fact, pretty quick fire affairs. It's the best of three sets. We're going to join it right at the start with commentary from Tony Green. Leg L2, throw first. Game on. First leg, first set. There's a gentleman from a true darting family, Al Edmund, the British Open champion, whose sister, Dita Hedman, is the ladies' world number one. 96. His opponent... Ever present for Scotland, Bob Taylor, the bear. One of the nicest guys on the circuit. 140. England v Scotland. Plays in the Essex Super League. Plays for Essex as well, does Al. 57. Good start from Taylor. 140 plus these. One hundred and forty. Martin Fitzmaurice doing a grand job up there. First leg, and we've seen two one hundred and forties from the big man from Scotland, Bob Taylor. Sixty. Nice little story of Bob as well. He uh, was. Former fiance Julie Forbes, professional golfer, he used to carry for, was joint fourth in the English Open last week. She played alongside uh, Laura Davis in the final round. 80. 1 4 1 then. Nine darts thrown. Bob Taylor, first leg. 43. 43. Bob, you require 36. Double 18. 18. Double 9. See the other side of the board. 27. Spawns a good leg there when you miss them finishes. 100. Bobby require nine. So one double four. Double four. Double two. Double Five trouble. Score. Al's chance Al here. Bobby require 102. Nickname Mr. Cool. Could go for ball with his second up. Is it 18? So 64 left. 46. And that doubt was for trouble Bobby 16. Bobby require four. Double two. Making it more difficult. Moving right across the hockey to try and get in that corner. Two score. Al, you require 56. 16 leaves double top. Double top. Yes, that's the first leg. Al Hedman. Well, came back from a distance to beat Second Taylor in that first leg. To throw first. Game on. He can smile as well. Well, it should have been finishing in 12 darts there, Taylor. And he lost the leg in 24. Incredible. 
Let's hope it doesn't distract him too much. 83. Ali from Jamaica originally, been resident in Britain for 25 years. And last year, won the very coveted British Open Championship. 140. Certainly his sister much better known than Al. World number one lady player. There he is, six foot four, looking at a maximum. 140! <laughs> 40! Presented Scotland as uh, Bob at every level. 40! Oh, no. 83! All level, but it's advantage to Taylor. Eight. That needs a treble. 100! Oh, in the office belt here in Surrey. 100! Bobby require 138. Trouble 20. Eight five, so no finish. 1 3 3. Switching for 19s. Yes, yeah, good recovery. 82. Same shot for Edmund. Now you require 138. 100. Bob, you require 56. Well, they couldn't hit a double in the first leg. Let's see what we can do with 56. 16 double top. Double top. <clears throat> Sixteen. Now you require thirty-eight. Well, options here: it's double nineteen, the shot, or six double sixteen. Yes, that's a second leg. Al Hedman. That's the way to do it. Two nil up. Third leg. Al to throw first. Game on. Well, they're calling Mr. Cool is certainly looking relaxed going for the finishes. And that's what took the first two legs for Al Edmund. 55. He's won everything in Scotland, does Bob. Scottish singles, Scottish masters, also the Norway Open singles. Forty-five. That tells that uh, story, doesn't it? Oh, six foot three and a half. Very relaxed. Eighty four. Bob, six foot four. Very fluent. Yes, yeah, there it is. There's a the crash. I think Steve Beaton's looking after the crash today. One hundred. One hundred and forty. Still uh, slightly favourite to take the set, I would think, here. Yeah. Al Edmund. 60. 
just to remind you, best of three sets, five legs to the set. One hundred and nineteen. So one hundred and fourteen finish for Bob Taylor. Certainly moving around the board. Seventy seven. Bobby require one hundred and fourteen. Treble twenty leaves fifty four. Treble eighteen leaves double top. Thirty-nine. Al, you require one hundred and twenty-five. Well, options there could go for twenty-five, could go for treble eighteen. Either way, it'll leave a two-dart finish. Went for the twenty-five, and that left him hundred and seventeen. So twenty now. Eighty-five. Leaves double top. Bob, you require seventy-five. Treble seventeen leaves double twelve. That well, looks like three. That's the last number he wanted. So no finish. 35. How you require 40. So it's Mr. Cool. Staying cool for double top. Double ten. Double five. Yes, that's the first set. Hedman. Kept the agony on Bob Taylor there. He's lost the first Second set. Set, first leg, Bob to throw first. Game on. It's Bob Taylor's getting us underway in this first leg of the second set. And really, this finishing power in the first set. 97. Lots to be desired. Gave the British Open champion, Ed, Al Edmund, a couple of legs at least. It's Al Edmund growing in confidence. Well, that tells it, eh? Bob Taylor had ten shots at the doubles, never hit a one. Al Edmund, five, hit three. 140. 80. It was unfortunate. Scored well as the bear. He's left to finish there. One six four. Ninety five. Bobby requirement one hundred and sixty four. There we go. Treble twenty. It's left him eighty four. So another treble twenty for double twelve. 100. But he ain't far behind Al Edmund here. Been getting to the treble 20, but pressure on Taylor. I think that smile he gives when he misses one. 36. Bobby requires 64. On the 16s, treble. Well, he likes double top, so 16. Double top. 24. Another one goes astray. Al, you require 150. Options here, treble 20, treble 18. 18. That's in one. Just checking it. 78. Bob, you require 40. He's had 11 darts at a finish. Never hit one. He now wants double top. 18. It ain't gonna no be. Al, you require 72. Well, Al's just bent down there, retrieving a flight for Bob. As he moves in now, looking at 72. 
16, so another 16 for double top. Double top, this is the man that's hitting the doubles. 32. Bob, you require 40. And the darts have counted is about 14 so far. Another chance, double top. Yes, oh, that's the first oh, thing. Oh, Bob Taylor. Well, the smile there from Taylor, look at it, Mr. Cool. Throw first, game on. It must have said you've got to get one. They come down. First out falling short of the treble. 134. Perfect pitcher, perfect darts. Well, there's the average. It's not uh, a lot to be desired at the moment. 78.08, 77.74. Both players now settling down. Scored so well as Taylor, but it doesn't reflect because of the amount of doubles he's finished. Missed. One hundred and thirty-four. Most trouble nineteens. One hundred. Two one hundred and thirty fours for Bob Taylor. One hundred. There's a finish of one hundred and thirty three. Could leave a nice handy finish here, could Edmund, if he can get into the treble twenty. Bob, you require 133. Trouble 20, trouble 19, double 8 could be the shot. Well, there's three, so 130 left. 70, maybe trouble 18 or trouble 10. 75. Al, you require 126. Well, he's trying to work it out here. 19 should be the shot. Single, trouble. And then the ball, so trouble 19. 38 scored, 88 left. 54. Bobby require 58. 18. Double top. Moving back. Double top. 18. There's Richie Burnett Al there. require 72. The reigning world champion. I'm going to chat there with Wayne Palfrey, brother of Sean. Now then, needs a treble. He's got it. That's uh, 48, leaves him double 12. 60. As we can see now. But we require 40. Double top. Yes, that's the second leg. Bob Taylor. Yes. Third leg, Bob to throw first. Game on. Lullabies. Back to Taylor. He's one more leg to make his all square in sets. 83. One hundred and forty. <laughs> One hundred. Eighty. Keeps recovering with that last dart. There's Big Al. Eighty-one. A little 
bit rugged. 17. Well, it's always a step up onto this stage here at Lakeside. One hundred. Good Taylor. Been here many times before. Sixty. Bobby requirement one hundred and thirty-seven. Well, we'll wait until Bob throws here before he has a bite. Trouble 19, the shot now, yes, to the top again. Not an out shot, 204. 45. Bobby require 40. For one apiece in sets, it's double top for Bob Taylor. No score. Well, fortunately enough, Al Edmund has left 159, and as he well knows, not a three darts out shot. 99. Bobby require 40. Double top then. Double 10. Yes, that's a second set. So funny, mean, look at that lovely smile first there, but it's... Set, first leg, out to throw first. Game on. But one set apiece. It's Al Edmund, the British Open champion, and is underway in this, the final set. 78. Been incredible, the uh, amount of doubles Bob Taylor's missed. Scored well. But we're all square at one set apiece. 59. Well, look at that. Bob Taylor, 23 shots at a double, hitting only three. And that spells it out, scoring so well. 100. Well, there's Les Wallace. I'm say the Scotland lad. A lad with a kilt. One hundred and eighty. So the larynx goes for Martin Fitzmorris. We've seen that throughout the match from Bob Taylor. Some very, very high scoring. Sixty. Yes, good recovery. One hundred and thirty-seven. Well picked off, losing the finish now. The three darts, one, two, six. Hundred and one left. Just. Uh, Holding back a little. Stay on the twenties. One hundred. Al, you require one hundred and twenty-six. Single nineteen, trouble nineteen would leave the ball. Let's leave it with Al. Well, that's twenty-one. Can't finish. Hundred and five. Maybe thirteen or five. Leaves him double top. Eighty-six. Bobby require eighty-one. Options here. Trouble 15. Yes, double 18, two darts. I think he's silly at times moving back. He stayed at the hockey and went straight at that double. 1st yeah, leg. That proves me wrong, there's that big smile there of Al. Second leg, Bob to throw first. Game on. 
Edmonds can smile. He won the first three legs. And since then, it's Taylor who's won the next four. 82. Bob Taylor, 11 tons, 5140 is a maximum. Four leader finished, still with an average of 80.93. 63. There's one thing certain, they've had the best of order. One or two words of encouragement. 14. I'm sure over the years to come, we'll see the European Masters becoming one of the popular events. In the calendar. 95. And every uh, every year does these lads. 25. So finish one five eight. Eighty three. Oh. Our you require one hundred and fifty eight. Could be two treble twenties. Would have left him double nineteen. Forty one. Come on, boy. Hundred and forty eight left after that dart. One hundred. Our one hundred and seventeen. Trouble nineteen. Trouble eighteen. Ninety three. Double twelve left. But we require one hundred and eight. For a lead of 2 0 in the final set. Treble 20 leaves 48. He prefers that. So treble 18 again. Double 18 now. That's the Shanghai in 18. It's 108. And it's Bob Taylor. Yes, well, we can't see it. Bob Taylor. But it is definitely there. But it brings a smile Bernard to Al Edmund. To Game on. Two nice guys here on this stage. 45. So that start of Edmonds could be punished here. 85. Just look how relaxed he is. So casual. 60. From the eye. 83. Two big lads, six foot three and a half is out. Bob six foot four. Eighty four. 
43. So one point separating, separating this leg. One that Edmund must win. 119. For sure. 139. Yes. He's in every chance now. 54 left. Double top. Double top for 2 1. Double 10. 44. Bobby require 113. If he can take this uh, out, he takes the match. 53 left, 13. Lose double top. Double top. Deep sigh, just hoping. 73. We've seen it throughout the match. How you require 10. Well, Headman supporters there, encouraging him to get double five. 5 Oh, five dear. Score. Bobby require 40. So a double top for Scotland to beat England. Bob Taylor. Double ten. Twenty. Well, it's back to the practice board, I think. Five. One double two, Headman. Double two. Double one. No score. Bobby require twenty. That's double ten. Well, it's there. Shot and the match. Bob Taylor. Congratulations, Bob. The important thing is that you're through, but I'm sure you'll feel you can play better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Al's my bogeyman. One of the best players I've played for a long time. Al, I've played him twice before, up to now both times, and then Al beat me three-two. This time, I've got my revenge. I never played well. I know Al never played nothing like he can. But I'm just glad to get through the second round. Mm -hmm. Have I got Michael? You've got Michael Gregory next, yes. yes. When I suppose you, you'll have to raise your game, I, I presume, to, to beat Mike. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Have the doubles been a, been a problem for you recently, Bob? Whole season, really, Dougie. Because I've been playing the European Tour all year. Been playing well in tournaments, getting through to last 16, last 32. Playing well in the competitions, you no, know, just getting there so far, then not hitting out in the doubles. But uh, you just keep going, just get your head up. But you have just come back from winning the Belgian pairs, yeah, uh, along with Kevin Painter. So that's yeah. a boost to the confidence, oh, yeah. I take it. Well, we've just played a few times together, so. We've won two this year, Finland and Belgium yesterday, uh, beating in two semis, and Bond would didn't do nothing then. So, <laughs> that's a cheer me up, but I just didn't play too good. It was late last night before we got home. So, it's, I know Al didn't play like what he can, but I'm pleased to get through him. I've never beaten him before, so that's the main thing. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next round. Well done, Thanks Bob. Thanks very much, Dougie.